All right, you guys, welcome to tonight's team call. It is Monday, August 15th, and we are going to be working on follow-up invites. But before we dive into that, I wanted to make a couple quick announcements for you guys. One, I want to say thank you, and we so appreciate um, Michelle and Jess for helping lead the What Is Coaching event last week. I think it was a great event. It was a little bit of a different spin. We had some new girls in there. And the other girls who have been in that group got to see some new content, some new stories. So that was really exciting. Um, so thank you, Michelle and Joss. And um, I also want to give you guys a heads up that next week, so kind of already be thinking about what you're going to be talking about in your stories. But next Thursday, we're going to do a what is coaching call. Okay, so that's going to be a live Zoom, just like we've done in the past. Um, and we'll try to keep it 20 to 30 minutes. I would love for at least three other coaches to be open to sharing a little bit of their story on that call, because I think there's so much more connection when we, when we share the different lifestyles that have been changed, the different journeys, the different paths, the different starting points where you are now. So if you're open to helping lead that call with me and just share five-ish minutes of your story and kind of where you started, where you're at now and what your vision is to grow towards over the next six, 12 months, um, please let me know because I would love to have you help with that. So that'll be Thursday, um, probably 7.30 p.m. EST, I think is what I put on the month calendar. And that seems to be a good time. So it's not too late, but it's not too early. Well, it's not too early for us on the East Coast. Sorry, Dawn. <laughs> Um, but it, you know, it's kind of after dinner time for us. It's really before dinner time for you. So it kind of fits well um, to do it at 7 30 PM. So that is all that I have, I think, as um announcements for next week and what's coming up here um in the near future. So last week we talked about inviting, right? Like the first invite and connecting with people and inviting them to either that mostly focus on challenge group, but not just challenge group, but also coaching. Um, so what do you do when maybe somebody, we all like to say ghosts us, but what do you do when you maybe don't get a response? Um, and how do you keep that conversation going? So the samples I, um, I have that I will screen share, and I also put them in the comment of the post for tonight's team call, the reminder post, um, is one, after I send that initial invite, like we did last week, I'm always, for me, it's, it's 48 hours. I, on my team Z it's two days later when I send an invite to anything, I'm going to send them a follow-up message to reconnect and make sure they saw that message. Because you guys, you know, we're all guilty of opening a message or opening your phone or you accidentally tap it. Well, we work our business on our phones. So we know that if you um, swipe it, you can mark it as unread and you can keep it new and go back to it. Not everybody does that. And sometimes when the kids have the phone and they open it because it pops up while they're playing games or whatever, the person doesn't see it. So we like to take it personally and say, oh, they ghosted me. They're not interested. But most of the time it's just life got busy or somebody else, you know, saw the message and they didn't actually see it, or maybe they saw it and life got busy or the kids needed them or whatever. Um, but I want you to keep that in mind just to reconnect and have that follow up because going that extra mile shows that you care. And it shows that that you're truly here to help them, that you're not just sh sharing that cold invite and then just moving on to the next person, right? You're not just copying and pasting and moving and copying and pasting and moving on, that you're trying to help or reconnect with that person. So the, the first one, the first example is following up within 24 to 48 hours after your initial, and I'll go ahead and screen share so you guys can see these as I'm talking about them. Um, but I did put them in the, the team page so you guys can see them and you can, uh, you can actually copy and paste, or you can save that doc right to your phone or your note section. So that that way you have it. Okay. Um, so the first one is just, Hey, put their name in there. Happy, whatever. I like to say whatever day it is. Happy Monday, happy Tuesday, whatever. I hope, um, I was hoping, I think is what I should say. I was hoping to pop in quick. Yes, I was, eh, was 
hoping to pop in quick and wish you an awesome start to your week or day, whatever day it is. Um, and also see if you caught my last message by chance. That's it. Super simple. Hey, did you catch it? If not, like I get life is busy, right? The next example is if you have already sent the link. So how many of you have sent a link and maybe they didn't get it or they didn't, they didn't follow through and complete the link. It's probably fear, right? They probably got cold feet. They got nervous, whatever. This is proving to them that you are there when you go back and double check right? That you follow up. Hey, so-and-so I just, I was, I just was popping in. I can't freaking type you guys. I screwed these up. I was just popping in quick to be sure you got the link I sent the other day. Life has been crazy. And I didn't want you to think I forgot about you. Put it on you. Don't put the pressure on them, right? Put it on you that life has been busy and you didn't want them to think that you forgot about them because life has been crazy. So um, I didn't want you to think I forgot about you. I know life is crazy for all of us. So I wanted to check back. Were you able to complete the, were you able to see and complete your link or did you have any trouble? I cannot wait to get started with you. Just simple. Like did something change or is there something I can help you with? Right. And then this last example is a follow-up invite. So somebody who maybe showed interest, continues to engage on your posts and your stories, but didn't, maybe it was a, um, a finance or time, or they just kind of weren't ready mentally or whatever that looks like, right? They just weren't ready at that time. So I would say, hey, because I just had a lot and put their name. Um, how are you doing lately, girly? Anything new and fun happening as we start to wrap up our summer days? By the way, I am so not ready for summer to end. Just general conversation, right? I definitely am not ready for summer to end. Um, I was hoping to catch up with you and see how you're doing making some time for you lately. I know the last time you talked, you were wanting to, there's a blank there, because insert what your conversation was about. They know that you're listening when you reiterate what they have talked to you about. You also touch on that pain point that that is something that they want to work on. So I thought I'd try to catch you and see how you're doing. Also remind you of our ladies wellness group. We refocus each month. We'd love to have you if now is a better fit. Something simple like that. Okay. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's just reconnecting with those people and letting them know, Hey, like maybe now is a better time. And if not, I understand that too. Okay. And you can even say that if you want to give them that out. Okay. All right. Do we have any questions before I set a timer and we, um, work on some follow-up invites for a little bit? Does anybody have a specific conversation going right now that they're kind of unsure where to take it or how to respond. Yes, go ahead, Don. So I have a conversation where she's already like she uses her Peloton and like another uh like a nutrition product. Um how do you, how do you keep that going to where you all kind of want to keep us in, in her mind? Because I mean, I, I honestly think that we have like the full package and she's like, yeah, I use such and such a product for my nutrition. She goes, but I still really want to lose that extra 10 pounds. So like, I think it's, it's not completely working for her. How yeah. would you ask a couple more questions or just to keep the conversation going. Yeah. So I would maybe see how long she's been using those products. And then I would see what her meal plan looks like. And if that's something that she feels like she could kind of tighten up and have that support there, I would, I would dig into more questions. Um, and th is this a girl you were talking about the other day? She's using isogenics and she's um, doing Peloton workouts. Okay. Um, so I mean, I, for me, I would just dig into more questions as far as if she wants to lose that extra 10 pounds or whatever, but there's obviously a missing link. So I would just start asking her, well, what does your meal plan currently look like and go from there? 
I don't, Kate, what do you, do you have any advice on how you would? I was going to say, I, I like with people like that, I typically, I mean, I will ask questions as long as the conversation, like the vibe, they're open to me asking more questions. If it kind of starts to, you know, you can kind of tell when people start to feel a little like annoyed or pressured or things like that. There, you know, some people are like, Hey, like I'm doing my thing and it's going to work and I don't need to hear from you. Um, so like for me, it kind of depends on the vibe. I will ask more questions just to kind of dive in a little bit, but I also tend to, with a lot of those people that I have come across that do inevitably end up enrolling. I, I mean, I really almost take a step back and just build relationship. Because at the end of the day, like, yeah, like the isogenics and the Peloton may be working for her, but in, I mean, in my opinion, we have something with Beachbody that nobody else has, which is this community. So as long as we're showing up and being ourselves and continuing to build that relationship, I would almost not talk about product hardly at all and just build a relationship and then you know and if she becomes you know a client down the road then she does and if she doesn't then she doesn't but that's typically how I roll with it yeah and that's I mean it, going that route too you can always just keep that conversation going and then as your friendship builds or your connection builds that's one of those people that you're like so why are you not in a group with me yet you know what I mean you're just like why are you not doing this with me? Why are you, you know? Yeah. So, and it makes that follow-up invite just so much more natural because you're already driving. Yeah. I love when you have people that you've built enough of a connection with and it's like, why are you not coaching again? <laughs> like what yeah. the hell are you waiting for? I need you. <laughs> right. Where so, are you at? <laughs> yeah. Yes, for sure. Yes. You're welcome for the feedback. Always just ask for sure. Um, okay, girls. So um, we got about 15 ish minutes. Um, I'll set a timer. Let's just roll through, go through. If you have conversations going, I would love to see you guys get some more invites out um, and just reconnect with the invites that you've already had out there the last few days. Um, but do, you know, do what you need to do for your work day today to tidy things up or whatever that looks like. Okay. All right, cool. Let's get to work.
All right, girls. Did y'all get some things done? Yeah, get a few messages out. Kate just said, hold on. <laughs> totally in finding something mode right there. And she goes, hold on. <laughs> oh, there goes the timer. I thought I canceled it already. I guess I didn't, sorry. No. Okay, does anybody have any questions or thoughts? No? Okay. Go team. Go team. Are we finding these helpful? Like going through these work sessions together, we like this style of team call to have some like focus time, even if it's 15, 20 minutes. Yes? Not just trainings? Okay, perfect. We'll keep doing them then because I want to do what is serving you guys best and is going to help you keep your momentum and your energy moving forward. So we will keep rolling with it. I am working on getting a guest speaker for one call in the near future to help us work through some really good mindset by following a spe special formula. Um, I put my pretty, pretty please out there. <laughs> Um, but this person doesn't really do night calls anymore. So I'm hoping it would be really, really awesome, but we'll have to see what the Does answer name? is. Does huh? her name start with an R? Does her name start with an R? No, but it is no. her, it is her formula. One of her people. Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah. saying nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I am, I am, um, I am working on that. And then next week we are going to work on content. Um, we're going to work on reels. Um, if we have any social media updates, Kate, if you don't mind, um, yeah. if there's anything I've, like, I've yet to fill out the form, like for what calls to help with. Cause well, I just, if there's anything that you have noticed, um, I, there's a couple of things that I've been watching from Brock, um, that I can share too. Um, and then on the 29th, we'll do our month review and, um, kind of where we were at for the month and what our goals are going to be and what we're going to focus on to keep growing forward in September. And, uh, yeah, we are almost in the September already. So, but mm -mm. like the momentum and the energy that is building since summit is absolutely there. You may not feel like, Oh, like I'm still just doing the things, but you're doing the things. And you're doing them consistently. We have to remember that that consistency and momentum takes 60 to 90 days. So I don't know if you caught my call that I did in our team page last week, but you have to give yourself time. And some months are different than others. This month tends to be a little bit slower. It's just the way that it is, right? Because everybody's focusing on going back to school and all the things outside in real life. So, um, keep working on creating that routine and that structure within your daily habits and know that I'm super proud of you guys for the strength. There is a big ass cricket crawling on my curtain. It's good luck. Is He's it? good luck. It's weird though. Cause it's a tan one. So that's gotta be out of Beckett's room, right? Oh, that's it's not a black one. Spike needs to get on it. No, while well, she's chasing down bugs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so that whole thing, like what she was just saying about like trusting the process and keep doing the daily motions, even if you aren't seeing the results yet. It's, you know, when I went from being an Emerald coach to diamond, I literally was doing just that. And I even remember telling Corey, I'm like, there's no way I'm going to hit this goal. I'm so far off. And then literally all of this, all of the results from those, that months of work and time I'd put in just dumped on me and I hit diamond. And then in our diamond mentorship call, I'm in a call, um, a mentorship group with Meg mm -hmm. uh, to work on just like a push to get my other account to diamond. Um, she talked about it too, like as a team, as a whole, they all were like, had their head down and they were grinding and doing all the things and not seeing anything. And they literally went from like two star to nine star in a month because everything just dumped. Mm -hmm. And 
diamonds flying off the handle everywhere. So it's that flow. Trust the, trust the process. Mm -hmm. It is it is a legit thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it does yep. happen. We have to trust the process. We aren't just like in your nutrition and fitness. You don't see things happening <clears throat> right away. It takes time. But if you look at where you were a year from a year ago to now, or five years ago to now, it all adds up over time. So yeah, keep going, girl. Like, the two of you on the screen, like your mental growth, just that alone from like the women you are now versus the women you were a year ago. I mean, come on. Yeah. It's a little. Yeah. Strides. Those baby steps have added up to strides for sure. All right, my loves. Um, uh, thank you so much for being on. I'll get the recording up. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Bye.